Hello everyone, I'm NJ and welcome to my channel, Way to the Dawn. This is an important video to go over what type of content that you can expect if you tune into the channel. Some of you may have already made the connection, but my channel name, Way to the Dawn, is a play on words between Riku's Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts 2, Way to the Dawn, D-A-W-N, and the resource cost for the One Piece card game, Dawn, D-O-N. That being said, this channel will primarily focus on Kingdom Hearts and One Piece since those are the two franchises that I'm passionate about. The card games in particular will be regular content on the channel, but I also plan to incorporate other forms of media such as the manga, anime, video games, etc. I won't limit my channel in any way though, I have a lot of interest, so on occasion I might go over other card games, anime, manga, or video games as well. I can promise that these type of videos will just be random bonuses just to take a break from regular content. So definitely plan on Kingdom Hearts and One Piece being the main content for this channel. So before diving into the One Piece content that I have planned, I do have a pretty big confession to make. I'm actually not caught up on One Piece. In fact, I'm only about a quarter of the way through as I'm right in the middle of Thriller Bark. I know, I know, you're probably thinking, how can he have a YouTube channel dedicated to One Piece if he's not even that far into the series? Well, first of all, I can do whatever I want. No, but in all seriousness, the little exposure that I do have to the series is enough to make me a passionate fan. I really love the world building and the storytelling is just second to none. I think Oda is just an absolute genius. I do have a very demanding job and up to this point I've been anime only, but some people at my local game store did suggest that I read the manga to get caught up and I think that that's pretty good advice. So with that in mind, I do have a big chunk of content planned where I read through the manga chapters and you all can follow me on that journey as I reflect on each arc as I read them. With all the exposure that I've had being around fans of One Piece and playing the One Piece card game, I think I've done a pretty good job of avoiding spoilers, but I will admit that there is one major spoiler that has been really hard to avoid and that's the death of one of the major characters who just so happens to be related to one of the Straw Hats. All I know is that this character dies, I don't know who does it, I don't know how it happens, but I promise beyond that there are no other major spoilers that I know of beyond Thriller Bark. As I stated before, card games are going to be regular content on this channel, so that's going to include openings, gameplay videos, and deck profiles. I'm probably going to concede news related content to the other creators who do a good job with announcements and leaks because I don't think I can compete in a race to put up those type of videos. I do have a webcam set up now with an overhead mount for those of you who like the real deal so I will probably be doing a mix of recorded webcam matches and tabletop simulator. Deck profiles will also be a mix of physical and digital as well. I do want gameplay videos to be a little bit more reflective so I'm going to try to work out a good way to accomplish that goal. So manga readings and all card game related content will be a big chunk of my One Piece content for this channel, but I'm not ruling out going over the anime and discussing that, or maybe even playing through some of the video games that I've never played as well. Now I'm going to go over the Kingdom Hearts content that I have planned. Pretty much all the card game ideas that I have for One Piece also apply to Kingdom Hearts, but I do feel the need to be a little bit more informative since I expect most of my viewers will have little to no exposure to the card game since it is a dead card game but I do hope that my channel can be a resource for anyone that wants to get into it. I will start from the beginning and go over the rules of the game, the sets that were released, and the basic history. Uh, I also do plan to do a lot of gameplay videos for the Kingdom Hearts CCG, both live recorded and tabletop simulator. There is a tabletop simulator of the Kingdom Hearts CCG as well, so I will be doing videos with that. Uh, sealed product is actually hard to come by, but I did manage to get my hands on a few sealed products. So right here, we have a base set booster box for the Kingdom Hearts TCG, and I'll set a goal of 100 subscribers and I'll open this bad boy up. I also do have a Darkness Awakened booster box. This is the second set that was released for the Kingdom Hearts trading card game. And I think I'll wait until I open the uh, base set booster box before I set a subscriber goal for opening this one. That's the main Kingdom Hearts TCG content that I have planned, but get excited because I actually think that there's much more to cover with this card game than you might think. And I have so many videos planned out that I hope to get around to. 
The other main piece of Kingdom Hearts content that I hope to create for the channel is I want to revisit all the games that I've already played and reflect on them similar to my idea for the One Piece manga reading. I'll replay the games and I'll break them up into sections and go over anything related to that portion of the game or I'll just bask in nostalgia by sharing my experiences. These will probably have some recorded gameplay, but they won't necessarily be a full on let's play. Just shorter videos where I'll probably just cut out sections of the game that I think are important moments and talk about them. So that's the gist of the content that I have planned for the channel. As I already mentioned, I do have a demanding full time job, but I'll try to pump out content as often as I can manage. I wouldn't expect the more ambitious videos such as reflecting on the One Piece manga readings or the playthrough for the Kingdom Hearts until I get a good setup going, but I'll keep you updated on those projects. For the near future, expect more TCG content, especially with the first set of the One Piece card game just around the corner. But yeah, I just want to make a quick preview video for the channel so that anyone new knows what to expect. I don't have any expectations for this. This is just something fun that I've been wanting to do for a while, just to be an active member of the community. But if you made it this far, let me know in the comment section below what you look forward to the most out of all the plans that I've laid out. I do look forward to growing this channel and making fun content for all of you. But that's all I wanted to say in this one. Consider subscribing and I'll catch you in the next one.